Chapter 2. Sammy Littletail is rescued. When Uncle Wiggily Longears and Papa Littletail hurried from the underground house to rescue Sammy, Mama Littletail was much frightened. She nearly fainted and would have done so completely, only Jane Fuzzy Wuzzy brought her some parsnip juice. Oh, hurry and get my little boy out of that trap, cried Mama Littletail when she felt better. Do you think he will be much hurt, Uncle Wiggily? Oh, no, not much, he said. I was caught in a trap once when I was a young rabbit, and I got over it. Only, I took a dreadful cold from being kept out in the rain all night. We will bring him safe home to you. While Uncle Wiggily Longears and Papa Littletail were on their way, poor Sammy left all alone in the woods with his left hind foot caught in a cruel trap, felt very lonely indeed. I'll never take any more cabbage without looking all around it to see if there was a trap near it, he said to himself. No, indeed, I will not. And then he tried to get out of the trap but could not. Pretty soon he saw his father and, uncle, and his uncle coming over the snow toward him, and he felt much better. Now, we must be very careful, said Uncle Wiggily Longears to Papa Littletail. There may be more traps about. So he sat upon his hind legs, and Papa Littletail sat up on his hind legs, and they both made their noses twinkle like stars on a very frosty night. From that, for that is the way that rabbit, rabbits smell. And these two were wise bunnies who could smell a trap as far as you can smell perfumery. They could not smell any traps, and they could not see any with their pink eyes, so they went quite close to Sammy, who was held fast by his hind leg. Does it hurt you very much? asked his papa. And he put his front paws around his little rabbit boy and gave him a good hug. Not very much, Papa, replied Sammy, but I wish I was out. We'll have you out, said Uncle Wiggily Longears. And then with his strong hind feet, he kicked away the snow and dried leaves from the trap. Then Sammy could see how he had been fooled. The trap was so covered up that only the cabbage... stump showed, so it is no wonder that he stepped into it. The two rabbits tried to get Sammy out, but they could not because the trap was too strong. What shall we do? asked Papa Littletail as he stood and scratched his left ear, which he always did when he was worried about anything. The trap is fast to a piece of wood by a chain, said Uncle Wiggily Longears. We will have to gnaw through the wood and then take Sammy the trap, chain, and all home. Once there, we can call in Dr. Possum, and he can open the trap and get Sammy's leg out. So the two big rabbits set to work to gnaw through the wood to which the chain of the trap was fastened. Sammy Littletail tried not to cry from the pain, but some tears did come, and they froze on his face close to his little wiggly nose, for it was quite cold. I should have given you a lesson about traps, said Uncle Wiggily Longears. Then perhaps you would not have been caught. I will give you a lesson tomorrow. Finally, the wood was gnawed through, and Sammy, with his uncle on one side and his papa on the other to help him, reached home. The trap was still on his leg, and he could not go very fast. In fact, the three of them had to go so slow that a hunter and his dog came after them. They managed, however, to jump down the hole of the underground house just in time, and the big dog did not get them. He soon got tired of waiting and went away. Then Dr. Possum was sent for, and with his strong tail he quickly opened the trap, and Sammy was free. But his leg hurt him very much, and Jane Fuzzy Wuzzy put him in a bed of soft leaves, and gave him some sassafras and elderberry tea. 
Dr. Possum told Sammy he would have to stay in the burrow for a week until his leg was better. Sammy did not want to, but his mother insisted on it. And tomorrow night, I will tell you an adventure that happened to Susie Littletail when she went to the store for some cabbage.